Today, I'm going to show you how to build your own gas station in Minecraft. This station features four gas machines and a nice little store full of loads of handy goods. And as always, before I start this at all, I'd really appreciate it if you consider giving that like button a little smash, as it does help me out, and I'd highly appreciate that. With all that said, let's start building. Here are all the materials that you will need. And the plot land you will need is 27 by 41 blocks. So first up, I'm just going to start marking out the perimeter of our gas station. So for this, firstly, I'm going to grab myself some smooth stone to begin with. And then just coming to the bottom left hand corner, just there. Firstly, I'm just going to place three blocks going across like that. And after that, I'm going to leave a gap of five. And then I'm going to place another six blocks. So just replacing the border just there. And then leaving another gap of five. And then building across to the end there. So you should end up with something that looks like this. And then next, coming to the left hand side, just from this point, I'm just going to place all of this smooth stone it's following the border it's going all the way to the other side just until I reach this point here so that corner and then moving to the other side I'm just going to carry this on to reach the end just there and then going around again, and then I'm going to place another 12 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And from here, I'm going to leave a gap of 5. And then place some more smooth stone to join up with the front section. Just there. And the next up, moving to this third section, just at the front here. Firstly, from this point, I'm going to go across 3 blocks. But then on that third block... And then I'm going to place some more smooth stone, just going all the way up. I'm just going to do this just until I line up with this point there. So the point nearest to that little gap there. And then I'm just going to fill in that little section just there. So that should give you some sort of area like this. And then once that's done, come into this gap again. From this point, so on the right hand side here. I'm just going to, from here, place some more smooth stone going across to the other side. And then after that, just coming to this point here, I'm going to go across six blocks in total. And then on that block, I'm then going to build up with some more smooth stone so I meet with that section just there. So these two bits should be the same width. And already that gives us the basic layout. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself some grey concrete. And firstly, I'm just going to fill in the areas where the rest of the blue wool is. Because these are going to be the areas where the cars can exit and enter from and the next up just in this main section here so the biggest section I'm just going to fill that in with some grey concrete so filling that all up and that should leave you something that looks like this so next up I'm now going to add some grass areas here so firstly I'm going to go back to the smooth stone and just at this point here I'm going to go across four and then another four. That's going to be where our sign's going to go. And next up, I'm now going to grab myself some oak leaves and also some bone meal. And then firstly, with the oak leaves, I'm just going to place six randomly in this first little section here. So from this point, I'm going to go like one, two, three, four, five, and then six like that. And then going across to the other side, I'm going to place another six. Again, just going random. And then going to the side here, and then I'm going to place another final six, again, being as random as possible. Just like this. And then once I place these bushes, I'm just going to add three lots of bone meal. So I'm going to place one there, the second lot there, and then just one lot just there. And that'll give us some nice grass areas. And with these bushes, you don't have to be completely accurate with them. I find it's always nice to be quite rough with them. So next up, I'm now going to show you how to create the sign for the gas station. So firstly for this, I'm going to need some white concrete, some blue concrete, and also some lime concrete. So first up, with the white concrete, just starting from this point here, I'm going to build across four blocks like that. And then next, 
move into the blue concrete and then going to place another row of fours on top followed by a row of lime concrete just there and the next moving back to the white concrete i'm then going to build up a four by four square just on top like that and then for the logo i'm just going to place some sort of l shape with the blue concrete in the middle just there so next up moving on to the shop part of our gas station for this first seat i'm going to move back to this smooth stone i'm just going to place a row on each side of this grass area just there so one row on the left and then one row on the right just like this and the next up i'm going to move to the white concrete and just come into the top left hand side here firstly starting from this point i'm going to build across six blocks so one two three four five six just like that and then i'm just going to extend this up so it's six blocks high in total And then I'm just going to mirror this on the other side. So come to the top left hand corner here. From this point, going across another six blocks and then building that up. So it's six blocks high in total. And the next up, I'm now going to switch to my line concrete. And then this time, starting from this block here, so kind of going one in, I'm just going to build up another six blocks just on level with that wall there. And I'm just going to extend this top point by four blocks. And then going around to the other side, extending this point by eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to mirror this same thing on the other side, but this time with the blue concrete. So again, starting from this point, I'm going to go up six blocks. So I'm level the white wall there. Extending that by four. And then going around extending this to meet up the green just there and that'll create the frame for our big window and the next up moving back to the white concrete just coming around to the back from this point i'm just going to build this going all the way across to connect these walls together at the back and then i'm just going to build this back wall up so it's level with everything else and that'll give you something that looks like this. And next up, I'm now going to add a sign on each side. So, with some line concrete starting on the left hand side here, from this point here, I'm firstly going to place four line concrete there. And after that, moving back to the blue concrete, I'm going to place two on top there, one next to that. And then moving back to the line concrete, placing another three on that layer, another two. And then finally topping it off with four just there. And I'm going to repeat that design on the other side. So coming all the way this side here again, I'm just going to place four lime at the bottom there. And then moving to the blue concrete, I'm then going to place two and then one next to that. And then three on that layer, two on the next, and then four just at the top. And then next up, moving back to the white concrete, from this bottom left hand corner here, I'm just going to place another two white concrete. And then I'm just going to build this all the way along until I'm one block out from this point here and I'm just going to mirror that on the other side so again placing two blocks I extend that across so again it's one block out so it's just sticking out there and once that's done I'm just going to join these two end points together so just building these going all the way across and once that's done moving to the back I'm then going to fill in this little section here, just making sure everything's level. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself some light grey concrete. And then starting at this left hand side here, I'm just going to place four there. And then going round, placing some light grey concrete going all the way to the other end. And then just placing another three just at that side there. That's going to be where the window is going to go. But then within the rest of this grass area here, I'm just going to replace all of that with some more of this light grey concrete. So you should end up with something that looks like this. And next up for the window and doors, I'm now going to grab myself firstly some black stained glass panes, some white 
stained glass panes and also a diorite wall. First up with the black stained glass pane, coming to the left hand side, I'm just going to place four on that side to begin with. And I'm just going to mirror that on the other side. And the next, just on each side, I'm just going to add another six glass panes. By doing that, that should leave you a gap of four where the door is going to go. And then just in this little gap here, on each end, I'm just going to extend these points up to the top. And next up, I'm just going to fill in these ends with some more of the glass panes. So before this, firstly, I'm just going to place some panes on the top sections and then the side to give me a nice outline of what to fill in. And then I'm just going to fill in these two areas. And that leaves you with something that looks like this. And then for the doors, next with the white stained glass pane, I'm firstly going to place one on each side. Then on top of those panes, I'm going to add a diorite wall. And then moving back to the white stained glass, another two on top. Then that'll give us our door. And the next up, it's now time to fill in the roof at the top here. So for this, moving back to the white concrete, I'm just going to fill in this first level. So the level which is the same height. As this top bit just there. So I'm just going to fill in the whole of this level all the way to the other end. So you should have something that looks like this. And then I'm just going to top off all of this with some normal stone. That will complete our roof. Now it's time to decorate the inside of our little shop here. So firstly, coming to the right hand side, I'm going to do the checkout area. So firstly for this, I'm actually going to grab myself some shulker boxes. So I'm going to grab myself a lime one, a blue one, and also a white one. And then first, just starting from this bottom left hand corner here, I'm going to place one blue shulker box. And I'm just going to place these going up to the top corner there. And then I'm just going to place some lime shulker boxes underneath. And then just where the, these gaps are, I'm just going to fill that up with these white shulker boxes. Just there. And this is just going to be a wall where extra stuff can be stored. And then for the main counter area itself, first I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete. And firstly, just two blocks away, I'm going to place one grey concrete just there. And then I'm just going to extend this along by five blocks. And then going around by one. And then just in that gap there, I'm then going to grab myself a birch fence gate. I'm just going to place one there. And the next, I'm going to grab some more black stained glass panes. And first, I'm just going to place three on that corner there. And then two coming out from the wall there. And then finally, I'm now going to grab myself a birch pressure plate, a stone brick stair. And also a birch sign. And so this is going to be for the till. So I'm going to place one stone brick stair there with a sign behind it. And then also a birch pressure plate next to that. And that completes our till area. Oh, I just realized this place definitely needs some lighting. So for the lights, I'm going to need some glowstone and an iron trap door. So it's coming over to this right hand side here. Starting from this point. I'm just going to count across five blocks, including that one. And then on that sixth block, destroy that, place that with some glowstone. And then another one just in front of that. So doing something similar on that side. So again, from this point, going across five. So if we go over to the other side from this point, including this one, going across five. And then destroying those, placing that with some glowstone. So if you've done this correctly, there should be a gap of six in between each of them. And then underneath each bit of glowstone, I'm just going to add myself an iron trap door. Next up, I'm now going to add myself a coffee machine. So for this, I'm going to grab myself a dispenser to begin with. But I'm just going to place two dispensers just like this. And next, I'm going to grab myself some red terracotta. A dark oak button and also some dark oak stairs. And then I'm just going to place firstly one bit of red terracotta on the left hand side with a dark oak button in front. And then next to it, I'm then going to add myself a dark oak stair. And then on top, I'm then going to add four red terracotta. 
and then two shut doors on top. And then next, I'm going to add a little drinks menu. So for this, I'm going to go myself some glowing item frames and also a flower pot because I think it looks like a coffee cup. And then I'm just going to place four glowing item frames there with four coffee cups, like so. And that'll give us our coffee machine. And you can always fill these bits up with some coffee, how much you like. And that way you can get it working. Oh, as well as it only works on one side. That's more of an aesthetic thing. So you can just add some coffee cups into that one, for example. Then it can dispense some stuff. So next up, I'm now going to add the main section, which is going to be all of the shelving. For this, I'm going to grab myself some more grey concrete, some smooth stone slabs, some ice, some stone brick stairs. I think that's it for now. So firstly, in this little corner here, I'm going to add myself a freezer section. So for this, firstly, from this point, I'm going to build up four blocks. And then moving to the blue ice, I'm going to place three there and then two coming out. And then I'm going to place another four very concrete coming up there. So this is going to be for our fridge section. And then with the smooth stone slabs, I'm then going to place five in three layers for the shelves in the fridge area. And then next to it, I'm then going to add some normal shelves. So first I'm just going to leave a gap of two. Then I'm going to place four grey concrete. Another gap of two. All grey concrete. And the final gap of two. All grey concrete on the end. And then next with some stone brick stairs. I'm just going to place eight. Just to fill in these gaps. And that'll give us some shelves. And then moving to the other side, I'm going to add myself a mini shelf area here. So moving back to the grey concrete, just in this corner, I'm going to place two grey concrete there. Then I'm going to leave a gap of four and then place another two on the end. And then just fill this gap with eight stone brick stairs just there. And then next, just for extra detail, I'm going to add myself a carpet. So with some grey carpet, it's going to be, this is going to be for some sort of rug. From this point here, I'm just going to place three. And then I'm just going to extend this going all the way along. Just until I line up with the end of that shelf bit just there. But as you can see, this shop is feeling a little bit empty. So it's time to stock it up. Before this, I'm going to be using an invisible item frame. And to get an invisible item frame, you will need to use this command. Now this command method only works in a Java edition of Minecraft. But you can do it in Bedrock, you, you will just need a texture pack, but I'll put the link to that below. But it does mean that all item frames in your world will become invisible, so just bear that in mind. But I feel you can do a lot with an invisible item frame, so it might be worth it, it might not. But anyway, so um, with the invisible item frame I've got here, I'm just going to place one in front of each shelf. So just placing these. making sure I'm covering each stair and then ones on this side as well but now it's time to stock up these shelves so so first up I'm gonna grab myself some glow berries because I think they look like some sort of candy so for this I'm just gonna place these on this little shelf here to begin with and the next moving to this fridge section I'm gonna add some drinks so I'm gonna grab myself a bottle of water and a bottle of honey. But it kind of looks more like orange juice. But anyway, with these bottles, firstly, I'm just going to add six water to begin with there. And then six orange juice on the other side there. And then for our next health section, I'm going to grab myself some cookies and some cake. And then I'm just going to place four cookies at the top and then four cake at the bottom. And the next section, I'm now going to grab myself some books. I'm using it out like magazines and stuff, so I'm just going to place some in that shelf. And next up, I'm then going to grab myself some paper. And then I'm just going to place some on the end there for some sort of newspaper kind of design just there. So with the shelves all socked up, that is the store part of our gas station all complete. So now moving on to the petrol area. So next up, I'm now going to grab myself some more white concrete. And then just starting at this middle section here, from this third block, and then just one up, so just that block there. I'm just going to count up six blocks, including this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But then on the seventh block, I'm going to place one white concrete just there. So there should be a gap of six in this section. 
And then, from this point, I'm then going to leave a gap of seven and then place another bit of white concrete on the end there. And next up, I'm just going to extend each of these white points up so they're nine high in total. So starting with this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And doing the same for this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that. Now give us the main supports for the roof bit. Next up, I'm now going to show you how to create the gas machines. So for this firstly, I'm going to grab myself some iron. So a block of iron there. And then I'm just going to place three in front of the pillars on the left-hand side. And then another three on the back of each pillar. Just there. So we're going to have four in total. And next up, I'm now going to grab myself some more blue concrete. And I'm just going to place three on top of each of these iron blocks. Next up, I'm now going to add the petrol hoses. So for this, I'm going to grab myself, firstly, some item frames, some lime wool, and some black wool, and also a tripwire hook. Firstly, starting on this left-hand side here, I'm just going to place three item frames at the front of each section. And then, firstly, with some black wool, I'm going to place one on the left of each bit. And then with the green wool, two on the right of each bit. So the green's going to represent the petrol and the bat's going to represent the diesel. And then for some handles with a trip eye hook, I'm just going to place one in front of each item frame. Just like this. And I'm just going to mirror what I've done on this side on the other side. So again, three item frames in the front of each section. And then this time, Black wool in the right, and then two lime wool in the left, and then just add in the hooks just there. And once that's done, I'm now going to add the digital screens where you can pay or whatever. So, for this, firstly, with some black wool, I'm just going to add one bit of black wool just in the middle, on top of the blue concrete of each section there. And next up, I'm then going to grab myself a painting. I'm just going to place one painting in front of each bit of black wall for a screen. And then after that, I'm then going to grab myself an iron trap door. And also a lever. And firstly, with the lever, I'm just going to place one lever kind of on the white pillar free box up. Just so they're kind of in between each bit of the black wall. I'm just going to flick both of these down like that. I'm just going to do the same thing for this side. And then moving back to the iron trap doors. I'm just going to place one on each side like that. So one on each side of each gas machine. Just like that for some extra supports there. And to finish these off, I'm then going to grab myself some smooth stone slabs. And I'm just going to place three of these on top each section just like this so now let's move on to the final stage which is getting the main canopy done so next up let's move on to the final stage which is getting this big roof put on so for this firstly i'm going to grab myself some white concrete and then just on top of each of these pillars i'm just going to place an extra bit of white concrete on top to begin with and then i'm just going to extend these by three going inwards like this and then just in the middle point there i'm gonna grab myself some glowstone i'm just gonna place that in the middle because that's going to be for one of our lights and then i'm also gonna add another two bits of glowstone just on the ends there and the next i'm gonna add another six bits of glowstone i'm just gonna evenly place these so what i'm gonna do this is starting with the middle bit of glowstone i'm gonna build each bit out by four and then place some glowstone on the ends here and then just where these four points are i'm just going to place some white concrete just with four bits of concrete coming out from each bit and i'm just going to do that for each of these corners so extending each side out by four and then i'm just going to fill in these corners with the rest of this glowstone 
So by using this kind of like grid method, it makes sure you have evenly spaced lights. And next up, I'm just going to fill in these hollow areas with some more of this white concrete. And then just underneath, I'm going to grab myself another iron trapdoor. I'm just going to place one of these under each bit of glowstone. And the next up, sticking with this white concrete, coming to the left bottom corner here. From this point where the glowstone is, I'm just going to extend out diagonally by four white concrete just like this. So this point should line up with this little section of the car park there. I'm just going to do this for the rest of these corners. Adding four white concrete. Just there. And then once these corners have been extended out, I'm just going to connect together the furthest points of each of these corners. So firstly, starting with the front section and the side and the back. And then the other side, just there. And then once that's done, I'm just going to fill in the rest of these hollow areas. And that'll leave you with something that looks like this, a nice solid white roof. And next, just on top of where the glowstone is, I'm just going to cover that with some white carpet. Just like this. And just before I finish the roof off, I'm just going to make a slight adjustment just because I've realised that it's not even, which is, which is, you know, just a bit annoying and I can't handle this. So for this, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of that bit of smooth stone and place that with some grey concrete. And I'm just going to add another bit of smooth stone just to extend that little bit across there. And I think that just makes it look that little bit better. And next up, I'm just going to finish off the roof by adding some extra colour. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some lime concrete and also some blue concrete. So firstly, I'm just going to place one line concrete going diagonally across and down by one just there. And from that point, I'm just going to build going all the way around the white roof. So just going all the way around. Until I join up with where I started. And the next up, I'm going to do the same thing but with this blue concrete. But this time just doing it a few blocks higher. So firstly going around just until I meet with the point just there. So with the roof done, that is the gas station all complete. So now this gas station is ready to be filled with some cars. And I've got a car design here and this is from my car dealership store tutorial. There's loads of different tutorials for cars in that video. So if you want to know how to build this car or perhaps another model, then you can check out the car dealership tutorial in the top right hand corner just there if you're interested in building this. But there we have it. That is the gas station all complete. So I hope everyone did enjoy building this and I hope you are pleased with your final result. And as always, if you did enjoy this tutorial, I'd highly appreciate a little smash on that like button as it does help me out and I'd highly appreciate that. But yeah, so until next time, thanks for watching and have a good day.